Hello, my name is Chio, and welcome to KI. How I'm happy to be here. Honored to meet you. Uh, which, so how are you today? I'm great, doing great. Okay, glad to hear that. And so, what's your name? I'm Kenny Washington. Kenny Washington. Yep. Hmm. That's a nice name. Uh, thank you. And what are you doing here today at KM? I think we're going to be, we're talking, well, I know we're talking about the, the, uh, the opposition that's uh, developed in some quarters to the advance of solar and, and progressive energy uh, that's being mounted uh, some, in some quarters in the in the state of Indiana and it's actually coming from more from outside the state. I think it's it's more sponsored by the group called ALEC, American Legislative Council, and what they've done effectively is is structured a number of, of of points that they send to all legislatures, legislators and legislators, legislatures around the country that are open to this, to trying to roll back the 21st century. Mm. That's effectively what they're doing, Alec. And we, we, you know, we know what's up, so Alec, you, you can't hide from us. We know who you are. And we also will we're not lose. We're not gonna, you can't roll back uh, the human destiny. Human destiny is towards clean energy, uh, sustainable development that's on that that supports your generation that's coming up. You're a young person. We we owe it to you, and we will and we will honor that obligation to your to your generation. It will, we will not lose this fight. Hmm. Sounds like you have a pretty good reason to be here. I have an excellent reason to be here. You're you're the reason and. My grandkids and all your entire generation, you're the reason we're here. Hmm. So, so have you, so what you're trying to say is that you're here to try to give us more sustainable and more healthier gas, so energy for us to use in our everyday lives. You got it. You got it. That's exactly what I'm saying. Maybe have you ever thought about trying to figure out how to make the solar energy um um limited because sometimes when the moon goes down and you have to do extra work late at night and you and your computer runs on solar energy <coughs> in the next when the well the, the the answer to that is 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 batteries that store the energy that's collected during the day uh and then release it at night but no, we can we can either use batteries for that, or we can use the the in the United States we can mostly have the grid for that purpose. But in other countries they use batteries for that purpose. But if the grid if the grid operators that are utilities uh, are going to oppose solar as they're doing in this state uh, so vigorously, then there are other answers. To, we can go around them. Other other countries are going around them that don't don't even have a utility and they're doing fine. We're designing a community right now, the store of uh, energy and uh, all, all the energy and, and water and waste infrastructure for a community that's being built in South Africa right now. There is no utility in place and yet we will still provide 24-7 uh, energy and other infrastructure that they need to have a the same kind of uh, amenities that we have in this country, that's that's being done right now. So if the utilities in the United States, some of the utilities want to take the position they're going to try to kill solar. Uh, you know, the solar operators can go. We there are technologies that enable us to go around them. We don't. We prefer not to do that. But if that's if that's what the way it has to be, then that's the way it'll be. Okay, it was pretty good talking to you, Kenny. <laughs> So, it, was a, it was a pleasure and honor and an honor talking to you. So I hope so I hope this becomes a permanent a permanent type of solar en energy and thanks. Hope to get you involved too. Okay.